Now we're going to talk about how you create your layouts and pages in our application. So let's talk about first nested routing. So Next.js uses file system routing, where folders are used to create nested routes. Each folder represents a route segment that maps to our URL segment. So for example, let's go to... And uh, here, what we want to do is the file system is that if we create... So let's go back to VS Code. And inside this app directory, right, whatever folder we're going to create, it's going to be routed to a page. So for an example, if we want to create a dashboard routed to this one. So we haven't created a dashboard yet. So that's why it's showing you 404. Let's go to our VS Code. And we are going to, so inside the app directory, we are going to create a folder. And we're going to call this dashboard. Okay. Now inside this dashboard, we are going to create page.tsx okay anything you put in the app directory as a folder is going to map to a url okay so we create a dashboard folder inside this dashboard folder we have this page.tsx so inside this page.tsx let's go ahead and create some jsx here or in my case tsx so we're going to say export default function we are going to call this now you can call this dashboard but in that uh, tutorial that's coming from Next.js org, they called it page. That's going to be our function. It's just JSX or TSX, right? Make sure your page or whatever you name it, dashboard maybe, that it starts with a capital letter first. And then we are going to return some JSX, which is going to be, uh, in my case, it's actually going to be a P tag. And let's just go ahead and create, uh, just say that this is a dashboard page, okay? I'm going to go ahead and save this. And now, if we go back to our page, you see that localhost 3000 slash dashboard is actually giving me that dashboard page, that P tag that we just created here. Okay. So any folder that you create inside the app directory will be routed and it will be mapped to this. So that's how you create a separate page. Okay. The reason you want to do a folder or directory is because you can co-locate other files related to this particular component in the same directory. For an example, you can have specific UI or lib folder that only works with this page component. You can put this inside this dashboard. Now let's go ahead and create some other pages. So by default, inside our app directory, okay, this page.tsx, and layout.tsx, you see that this, these are not inside any type of folder. So if it's not in type of folder, that means this is going to be your root page, your home page, your landing page that corresponds to just a slash, right? And then if you create more directory and those directory would be considered as pages. Inside the dashboard, let's go ahead and create another folder and we are going to call this customers, okay? And inside the customer, we are going to create again, the same convention, page.tsx. So right now, inside app, if there's a directory after slash, it's going to take that directory. This is going to be dashboard. Inside dashboard, so slash dashboard slash customer, because there's another nested folder that we just created inside this page right here. So this page, let's go ahead and create some information here. Same same stuff. We're going to do export default function. We're going to call this page. And then we are going to return a P tag. That is going to say that this is a customer page. I'm going to save this. And um, we're going to do another one. So we're going to close this customers and create another folder inside dashboard. And we're going to call this invoices like that. And inside that, again, page.tsx. And then we're going to create export default function page. And we're going to return, we are going to return that this is going to be invoices page. Now save this. Let's go back to our page. So as you can see, if we just do slash, it's going to be our home page that's coming from this root level page. And then for each directory, in our case, it's going to be dashboard. There you go. And you see that it's the same name, right? Dashboard, the exactly the same name of your directory that you created. And inside the dashboard, we also create customers. So let's go ahead and slash. So it's, it's going to be nested. So we're going to say customers. And it's going to be a customer page. 
Okay, so remember that we created customers, we also created invoices. So same inside this dashboard, we can also do invoices and that's gonna be invoices page. Now let's talk about dashboard layout. In Next.js, you can use a special layout.psx file to create UI that is shared between multiple pages. Let's create a layout for the dashboard pages. So if you take a look, let me go ahead and close all this and then close dashboard as well. In the app directory, you see that we have the page.tsx and we also have something called layout.tsx. So let's go ahead and create the same layout that would be shared between all these customers and invoices. So we have a page.tsx right now, but we also can create a layout. So inside this dashboard, let's go ahead and create a file uh, called layout. Dot tsx and this particular layout would be shared between different uh, components now here what we want to do we are just going to import side nav from ui dashboard side nav now where the side nav is coming from the side nav is coming from this ui you see that ui there is dashboard and inside dashboard something called the side nav tsx and then we are going to this is the signature how you create your layout so it's the same signature as your root layout. So it's going to be export default function. You call it root layout. We're going to call desktop layout something else. So you're going to say export default. It's going to be a function. And we're just going to call it a layout. And uh, what's this layout is going to take? It's layout is going to take children. And this children is going to be a type of children that is of react dot react node we don't actually need this so i'm going to delete this save it and then we'll open up our curly braces so as an argument it's taking the children and then children is going to be a type of react react node because we are going to render react node at like a jsx that's coming from the page tsx right and then we're going to simply say return open parentheses and we're going to create a div and this div will have some class name and this is going to be some tailwind class name we're going to say flex we're going to say h screen we're going to say flex uh, column flex flex column basically means flex direction flex direction is going to be column and then here we're going to say MD is going to be flex row. And then MD, it's going to be overflow. We're going to say hidden. All right. So inside there, we are also going to create another div. And let's go ahead and do class name here as well. We're going to say width full flex none. And MD here, we want to say width 64. And inside this div, we are going to now utilized side nav that we import and outside this div we're going to create another div and this div will have some class name it's going to say flex dash grow we're going to have p dash six we're going to have md colon overflow we are going to do auto this time and then md colon p-12 and inside here we're going to open up curly braces and here we are going to render our children so a few things are going on on this component here first are importing the side nav and uh, into our layout any components we import into this file will be part of the layout right the layout component receives a children prop here this child can either be a page or another layout in our case the page inside the dashboard will automatically be nested inside a layout like so so it's actually going to be this page uh, sorry not this page this space page that is inside our dashboard now let's go ahead and check out our application how it looks we have our home page we have our invoices we have a customer this is coming from the side nav that we import that we already created and here we have our invoices. Now, one benefit of using layout in Next.js is that on navigation, only the page components update while the layout won't re-render. This is called partial rendering. Since the new layout we just created under uh, app dashboard and layout, it's, it is unique to the dashboard pages and we don't need to add any UI to the root layout above. All right, so we, we are good on this one.